All right, um, Chad Apatow, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, with with Randy and stuff, that has become like one of me and my friend's favourite things yes. now, is yeah. Randy. He's so kind of shit, yes. but he's not yeah. shit at yes. the same time. How, how do you go to the, into the process of going, oh, we're going to make make this as bad of a comedian as we yeah. can and still have it turn out so funny? Well, Aziz is a stand-up comedian, the guy who plays Randy, and what he did is he took some of his old jokes and then he performed them with way too much energy. So after every joke, he just danced around and went crazy. And he said, this guy knows what he's talking about. This guy knows what I'm talking about. This guy. And so he tried to badly perform good jokes. And then slowly we, we realized, maybe we should write some more really bad jokes uh, for Randy. Uh, now we want to make the Randy movie. We can't stop making Randy things. And that happens sometimes where you're making a movie and then one little person makes you laugh and you think, Okay, I gotta keep working with that guy. When we did Forty Old Virgin, Jonah Hill was so funny in his thirty-second cameo uh, as the guy in the eBay store, and so then we said, "Well, let's put him in Super Bad. We want to keep watching this guy." I auditioned for Bud Freeman at the Improv. He okayed me, made me a regular. Good for you, man. Congratulations. You shouldn't have lost all that weight, man. There's nothing funny about a physically fit man. I know, it's lame, right? Yeah, no one wants to watch Lance Armstrong do comedy. You pretty much brought everyone through mm. throughout the, your career, basically, except the only person I can think of that's not in one is yes. uh, the guy, that, the English guy from Undeclared. It, is, is, is there any reason that he's never made it into a flick? Charlie Hunnam. Or is he just an asshole? No, he's fantastic. In fact, when we... Uh, we're working on Forgetting Sarah Marshall. The Russell Brand part was written for Charlie Hunnam ah. uh, to be an actor, not a rock star. And w and then he had another movie that he was going to make, and he couldn't uh, get out of it wow. to do Forgetting Sarah Marshall. So he said, well, what do we do? And then one day, uh, Adam Sandler's agent said, I represent this guy from England, Russell Brand. Maybe you should meet him. And he came to my office, and, and we said... Maybe we just rewrite the whole movie for that guy. He's pretty funny. It's too early to know who's winning the fight, the medicine or the disease. Did anybody ever tell you you have a very scary accent? You are a very funny man. I enjoy your movies. And I enjoy all of your movies. Which movies? The ones where you try to kill Bruce Willis. Well, ha how's that, the, the, the um, Russell Brand, Joan Hill movie coming along? Is that, that the Get Me to the Greek? Is yeah, it's, it's great. You know, it's the whole crew of the guys who made Forgetting Sarah Marshall. It's kind of a sequel. It's about... Russell's character, Aldous Snow, falling off the wagon. Yeah. And it's Jonah Hill's job to get him to a concert in America. So he has to take him from England to America. And uh, Rose Byrne is in it, and Lars Ulrich from Metallica, and P. Diddy, and Elizabeth Moss from Mad Men. It's a pretty <laughs> star-studded affair. Are you doing stand-up at all? I, uh, this is actually the first time I've left the house in three years. <laughs> just to come out and see you. It was just, uh, I don't. But I will sometimes in my house, in front of my kids, I'll do five, five six minutes. <laughs> Not good stuff. It's a lot of where you're from, you know. <laughs> is that your brother or is this a business trip? You know, it doesn't make any sense. But. <laughs> uh, yeah, Eric Banner, obviously Australian dude. Before, she was quite the actress. Well, she's very good at pretending she still loves me, so <laughs> she's pretty good then. Yeah, I am. <laughs> was he always sort of the first choice for it, or it was just a, a random thing? Because you, you sort of reference him in, in, in Knocked Up as well. Uh, the first choice I had when I was writing was that I would play it, because I thought, I'm so unlikable uh, <laughs> that you wouldn't mind Adam Sandler trying to have sex with my wife. And then I realized that I wanted someone who actually had charisma and talent. And then I, I, I and I decided to go with Eric. Judd Abtel, we do appreciate it, and uh, we hope to see you in Australia again. Thank you very much, Judd. The movie's out on September 10. The movie is funny. People, check it out. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, man.